There hasn't been a mafia trial on this scale for more than 30 years. Hundreds of defendants from the Ndrangheta crime organization prosecuted together in a cavernous, high-security bunker in the midst of their mafia heartland of Calabria. It took more than an hour and a half to read out the verdicts. È ritenuta la continuazione, lo condanna alla pena di anni 30 di reclusione. A crucial factor in the prosecution case was the more than 50 mafia members who became prosecution witnesses. Certainly that cruel, violent and ongoing part of the Indrangheta, which has sown fear for decades, is impacted. There is a strong message that civil society, and especially those entrepreneurs and shop owners who are still being crushed by the Indrangheta, that they can trust the state. This is certainly the most important message coming out of this verdict. The Ndrangheta has established a near monopoly control of illegal cocaine imports to Europe. Combined with brutal murders, extortion, corruption of public contracts and a kaleidoscope of money laundering investments, its criminal proceeds are estimated at around $53 billion a year. Ndrangheta defendants had nicknames like The Wolf, Fatty and Lamb Thigh. But prosecutors also went for many non-mafia members, including a high-ranking police official, local mayors and other public figures and businessmen who'd willingly facilitated the mob's activities. 131 defendants were acquitted by the judges and crime experts point out that this trial focused primarily on the Mancuso clan, leaving much of the Ndrangheta's other clan bosses untouched. But putting more than 200 people behind bars is still a major boost for law enforcement. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.